Search. Nothing like the nick of time. Dad, honey, what was she trying to do? I don't know, Mama. She just kept ranting about trying to kill me. She's one big psychotic oh. mess. I don't understand. You, it was you were. Uh, Dad, work it out. Work it out. Work it out. Oh, I know, baby. It's like uh, like time slowed down. It's, that's just uh, that's just shock. That's all right now. Listen, no matter what happened, it's over now, and we're gonna be okay, won't we? Speak for yourself, I'm beat. Anyway, thank you. Listen, I'll call the police. You just keep an eye on her. Make sure she doesn't get up again. You know, like Blaine Close at the end of that movie when we thought she was dead in the oh, tub oh, with oh, the knife. Oh. The police? Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I've got it. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll get a better signal outside. I just can't believe this is happening again. I mean, I, I saw her kick the stool out from underneath you. You had a noose around your baby, neck. Baby, baby, it's okay. I'm fine. We're all fine now. I guess I just must have been imagining things. I mean, what other explanation could there be, right? Hey, man, uh, messing around with time like that, I ain't supposed to do that. That's a, that's a big one, Dad. Well, I'm just... Glad you did. Yeah. Glad I did what? I'm just glad you got here when you did. Oh, there's gonna be hell to pay, man. How did how did Leslie get to us again, Ted? I mean, how did this happen? Ted. Go ahead, tell her, man. Tell her the truth now because it really counts later on. It's your call. It was my fault. It, it was your fault. I. How could that be? Because I'm the one that put you through all of this. No, no, God, no, you didn't. Joe got a phone call that Leslie escaped from the hospital, and, and then she, she beat up baby, her sister. Baby, listen to me. Leslie didn't escape from anywhere because I arranged for her to be in her sister's care. I'm sorry? So am I. It was just a stupid thing to do. One of a uh, hundred stupid things that I've done. How could you do that? Because I wanted to nail David. I wanted to send him back to jail where he belongs, and I thought Leslie was the only way to accomplish that. Because I hated him that much. Oh, this isn't happening. Maybe it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. I hated David so much that I just, I just lost sight of things that are important, like you, like us. But now that I've had a noose around my neck, things are perfectly clear. It's called the 11th hour. Try not to help. Listen, baby, you gotta believe me, the only thing that's important in this world to me is loving you. Okay, nothing else matters now. Nothing, not, not payback, not revenge, none of it. The only thing that matters to me is being with you. It's the only thing that ever will matter to me. Check it out, man. Well, I guess he's not mad at me after all. I mean, I'm feeling like I'm back in full effect, dude. <laughs> 
is great. I, I guess this is what happens when you make things right. <laughs> so, Tad, don't blow it a second time, okay? I love you, baby. I love you more than I can ever say. You come near my family again, and I will show you how we take care of justice where I come from. Mom? She is crazier in a hornet in a gas tank. Ted, get your mother and your wife out of here. Go home. Get out of here so I can get out of here. What do you say, sweetheart? You want to go home and start over again? Look, I'll meet you kids in the car, okay? I'm gonna go make sure they drive that wing nut away like they said. Dad, get her home now. You wanna go, baby? I don't think so. Uh-oh. What do you mean you don't think so? You wanna rest a little bit more before we, we leave? Is that it? I can't do it, Dad. Baby. What do you mean you don't want to go home? Sweetheart, you saw them drag Leslie out of here. She's back in custody. She's going to stay that way. I have your word on that? My word? Absolutely sure. Don't you see what she's getting at here, Tad? <sighs> no. No? I mean, I know that this was my fault, and I, I can't tell you how sorry I am, sweetheart. But listen, Leslie can't hurt us anymore. I <sighs> swear it. What about you? What about me? Are you gonna hurt us again? What? That woman had you in here tied up with a noose around your neck. Dixie, I know I was there. Just a little while ago, she had you in her bed. That's where this all started. Dixie, what She tried to kidnap JR, she tried to kill me, David. <laughs> Who else? Is that what you wanted? No, no. This, this stupid revenge plot that you have against David. Did you really think that, that, that Leslie was going to kill David before she tried to kill me or you? No, no, no just let me explain. Explain okay. what? I, I... That you purposely tried to bring a homicidal maniac who was in a mental institution back into our lives? To get back at David, you purposely she, risked I, your I, life, minute, my life, our children's start... life? Oh, for what? For some stupid revenge plot that wasn't going to work anyway? Dad. You need to take control of this right now before it's too late. Dixie, you have to listen to me. No, I don't. Man it up, Tad! Baby, come here. Please. 